guys, just hockey here back at you with another video. Today's topic features Gabriel Landeskog and his current contract status with the Colorado Avalanche. Landeskog is a 28-year-old Swedish left winger who will be entering free agency as an unrestricted free agent this offseason. He was the second pick in the 2011 draft and has played all of his seasons in the NHL with the Colorado Avalanche. A Sportsnet article written by Emily Sadler on Rumor Roundups suggests that he might not be on the Avalanche after this offseason, with Makar, Grubauer, and a few others needing a contract also this season. Joe Sackick knows very well that he needs to use the remaining cap space very wisely in order to be able to sign all of them. But Landeskog has said that he is not happy with the contract negotiations he has had with the team so far and that he is disappointed that he might hit the free agent market before getting signed. Although he displayed his disappointment, Landeskog clearly said that he is sure that he will be able to suit up with the Avs for the next season. Still, there are supposedly a few teams interested in him, including the St. Louis Blues and the Toronto Maple Leafs. From the Blues' perspective, they want a reliable left winger to hop in and play on the first line with David Perron and Ryan O'Reilly. They apparently said that they are going to be targeting Landeskog and they are ready to give him a full pitch if he reaches free agency in order to acquire him. The second team mentioned in this article is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Although Toronto is basically a part of every trade rumor, I think that it is still valid that they might be able to target Landeskog and maybe even be able to sign him. A tweet from Sportsnet 590 suggests that the Leafs might be able to target Landeskog because of the Kerfoot contract coming off the books. The Leafs have a less likely chance of getting him though because they just can't afford to get any more big payment players on their roster. Plus, if the Avalanche are not able to sign Landeskog by the expansion draft, the Kraken are also allowed to have contract talks with him before any other team can. The Kraken could take advantage of the cap situation that the Avs are in and could pay him a little bit extra because they are the only team who can realistically do so. This part of the article ends on that note, but if you want to read the article for yourself, the link will be down in the description. Anyway, that is it for this video. Talk to me in the comments down below if you think Landeskog will re-sign or if he will be on the move this offseason, even though he said that that likely won't happen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and press subscribe as it is free and helps my channel out a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.